Hey guys, Jake from State Farm, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to comment within JavaScript. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back, and we're going to teach you a little bit about commenting and why it's important within this tutorial here. So, first things first, we've got our basically our, our scene set up within jsbin.com. You go there, basically an online interface for JavaScript. Watch the first tutorial if you haven't seen this already. But I'm going to teach you what comments are used for and how to actually comment within JavaScript. Because the first things first, when you guys go and you um, are trying to understand the basics of JavaScript and understanding the code base, you may be looking at you know other code that people have written, and if they are the type that leaves comments awesome it makes it so much easier or if they're the type that just sits there and they just program their stuff and they are the only ones that know exactly what they're writing that is an issue because we, we you know you, when you're working together within a team within a group of people you want to know why and where the methods are that you're using to actually call those functions in different parts of your program alright so as you guys know this part now we're gonna jump to the on screen I'm gonna stop talking so much but this part up here is where we're gonna start and basically what our our programs doing is it's running line by line and so the first thing it's going hey oh yeah we're gonna use some JavaScript now alright so it goes to the second line which we're gonna put a comment and this is where it comes into single line comments and it's just gonna be two forward slashes alright so that signifies to the compiler, the the part of the program in which it says, hey, don't actually include me within your compiled program. Just X me out. Don't even worry about this line, all right? And that's what's going to tell the compiler, don't look at this phrase here. Because all we're going to write here is, hey, hey, yo, comments, and don't compile me, all right? So that first forward slash forward slash is going to allow the compiler to skip over that particular line. All right. So the same thing can go for, let's say you have a specific method here and you don't want it to actually compile within your um, application, your program. Maybe you're debugging and you're like, maybe this is an issue. You can actually comment that out and therefore your document.write your text, your string that's with included in there will no longer be in the output because it's basically telling the, the compiler, hey, skip over this particular line. All right? So that is the single line comment slash whatever you want to do. Debugging, tactics, uh, kind of a weak way to do it, but it's another way to debug. All right. So that's your single line comment that I just talked about there. The next one that I'm going to teach you is a multiple line comment. And so this may be where you want to put a block of code or you isolate a block of code when you're debugging and kind of hold it and you know tell your compiler to skip over this code or maybe you just want to write a paragraph of information for your fellow developers your team members saying hey oh my goodness this stuff right here in this block this is gonna be uh, you know a whole paragraph worth of stuff so anyways, to get along to that, you're going to do a forward slash, then you're going to put an asterisk, all right? And basically that right there tells, tells the compiler that anything after that forward slash and asterisk is going to be a comment, a multiple line comment. Now to end the multiple line comment, because you're probably wondering, well, that's an open-ended statement there. We're going to put in an asterisk followed by a forward slash, all right? And then anything in between is going to be, you know, not compiled or it's not going to be actually put into the program and developed. So we can write whatever you want in here. And it's not going to affect our program because it's within our multiple line comment structure. All right. So there we have two different uh, concepts there. We have the single line, which you guys saw up here. And then we have the multiple line commenting system there which you can you know use for blocks and different things there so basically as we wrap up this tutorial comments are used for one of two things one to notate where your code and what you're doing within your code is uh, for your programs 
And the second is kind of a debugging tactic where you can isolate code and say, hey, don't run at this given time because we have an issue within this code or we haven't completed you yet. So it isolates and it comments, notates, and lets other people know. So now you know how to comment in JavaScript. Guys, we'll catch you later.